for something different. <laughs> do something totally different. We're going fishing. I've been told that there's a pond somewhere. It's got an infestation of roach. Now many years ago I was a, I was a coarse fisherman and I do like an infestation of roach. So we're going to have a couple of days. I'm not going to say where it is because the security on the place isn't very good. We didn't want that mob that uh, disobey the rules and carry on finding out where it is. But it's, I've got a bit of a drive. I've got one or two things to try out, but the main thing is, I'm out in the house. <laughs> uh, my wee dog's in the kennels for a couple of nights. The cat's on the auto feeder, and I'm on the loose. <laughs> the way into this pond, it's a very rough estate road. It's very bumpy, it's not doing my suspension much good. I've got good suspension on this new car, so I'm okay. Oh, I think it would have burst the springs on my old car, though. <laughs> and then, what happens if you meet something coming the other way? <laughs> That's a bit peaceful now. There's a car park up there I can use, but I'm going to go further along the lock. It's quite a long drive in. I still can't see the lock. Looks like we've got dog walkers. And we're getting near the car park though. That's beautiful. This is where I am. As you can see, it's beautiful. I've even got a table to do my cooking on. I've already had the transio out. And that's where I'm going to sleep for the night. There's a big house out to my right, and I'm hoping. No, it's over to my left, sorry. I'm hoping that they're not going to see me. I think I'll get away with it. It's a beautiful estate, plenty of nice walks. Uh, the pike fishermen are allowed to stay overnight in their bivvies so I might have to put my bivvy up to make it look cool but there's the view I'm going to get from where I'm sleeping beautiful if this works out it's going to be a good one Beautiful spot. I've been here for about four or five hours. It was mobbed. There were three people here. <laughs> I couldn't get the spot I wanted anyway. 
folks left and I've got the spot I wanted. Uh, the fish aren't biting very well. Only one guy was catching. So the story at uh, the Havaroch infestation is a load of rubbish. <laughs> but it's been a nice day. Nice, quiet, bit windy. But look at this. Beautiful. It's just absolutely fantastic. I'm going to settle down for the night. I'll let you see where I am or where I'm going to settle. Uh, I'll do a bit more fishing. If I catch anything, I'll bring you back. I don't think I'm going to catch anything. <laughs> it's going to be one of these days. I'll see you later. <laughs> ah, it's about five o'clock in the morning. I think I'll go for a wander. Oh, that sun's bright as it comes up. Well, I wouldn't say I've had a good night's sleep. <laughs> I'm still trying to sort that out. Sleeping in the front of the car. But I've not had leg cramps in about two three months because I'm sleeping in an upright position uh, I just have to work on it and get it right because I need a good night's sleep anyway it's a good time for a wee wander have a look at this place it's a bit of a Forgotten estate. I could probably get the car along here, but I think that'd be pushing it a bit. I know the bailiff brings his van along here. Look at this, lovely, nice and secluded. You can hear the birds. Oh, I bet there's fish in these reeds, so oh, there's fish moving down there. Oh, oh what have we got here? This is a, this is an old boathouse by the looks of it. I know the pike fishermen, they stand out in the end there. And there's a deep hole in this lock way over there and you can get into it from there. This would be really spooky for a wee bit of walk at night. <laughs> oh, but it's waiting me up in the morning. Oh. That's another nice bit.
There must be people living near at hand here. I had a black Labrador bitch round last night. It obviously knew its way about. Oh, here's another beauty spot. Oh, that sun's murder. There it is. Oh. A really beautiful spot. For the guys that are into their pike fishing, if you can cast out for here, that's right in there. There's a 40 foot hole out there. That would be a nice spot. Breakfast time, the best time of the day. I'm sitting here, you can see I'm squinting, I've got the sun in my eyes. I'm sitting here looking out of the loch. Ah, nice wee sheltered spot. This table's came in handy, a wee bit squint, but never mind. Uh, the usual for breakfast. Uh, Tubby porridge, a couple of rolls, and a cup of camp coffee. Mm. Good stuff. Easy to make. Oh, it's a brilliant morning now. Now the sun's up. The sun's up for about an hour, showing it's not even six o'clock. That's great. What is that? Golden syrup. <laughs> Porridge. Well, yesterday was not very successful. I don't think there's that many fish in here. So, I'll get it the rest of the day and see how it's going. If it gets better, I'll stay here the night. If no, I'll move on to another location. Uh, I've got a hankering for a curry. So that could see me, you know, if things go wrong here, I could be, I could be heading somewhere where I can get a curry. And kip in a car park. <laughs> if I can get away with it. No, this will be the day. Uh, it's no bad wee place. Uh, you couldn't get away with camping here. They didn't allow camping. The only thing they allow is the, the fishermen to hear babies. And at that it's the pipe boys, so... But they seem to keep the place clean. Ah, we'll just see how it goes. And, I like to count what's happened one way or another. I'll talk to you later in the day because this porridge is getting cold and you can't hear that, you can't enjoy cold porridge. Well, I did. Anyway, I'll see you later.